In the women's singles final at the London Olympics, Ding Ning got faulted during the match, and some say it cost her the Olympic gold medal. This is a great opportunity to teach you and Panda how to serve correctly. Okay, Panda, let's go through the rules now. I've got up here the on the ITTF, the International Federation website, the official rules. So we're going to take a look at it. So firstly, Panda, part one of the rule says the ball has to be resting freely on the open palm of the server's stationary flat hand. So you've got to have your hand nice and flat and like that. Now the reason they do this is because, <laughs> what happened? If you hold the ball in your fingers, you can spin the ball. Okay. If you can spin the ball with your fingers and then hit it with your bat, it becomes really difficult for the other person to tell what type of spins on the ball. So that's why the ball has to be on the palm of your hand and it has to be stationary. All right, Panda, so now, Part two of the rule. So it says that you have to throw the ball up almost vertically. So it's got to go up and down. It's not allowed to come in towards you, all right? Because if you throw it in towards you, you can throw it a little bit faster. So this way, you, the ball has to go straight up and down when you're serving it. You're not allowed to impart spin, and it has to go up at least, at least 16 centimeters. Do you know how big that is? It's about the height of the net. All right, so it's a bit more than the height of the net. So from your paw, yep, it's got to go up at least that high off your paw, okay, before it comes down and then you're allowed to hit it. All right, and it's got to be almost vertical. Just try the throwing up. That hit your head, Panda. So part three of the rule, Panda as the ball is falling. So you're not allowed to hit it as the ball's going up. You have to wait till it's falling down. You have to hit it so that it touches first on your side of the table and then on the other side of the table. All right, so that's all you got to do. Let's start with the ball in the hand, okay? Throw it up and hit it down. Oh. This could take a bit more work. Getting the throwing up bit right. He hit it that time. Good work, Panda. Let's see if you can get it to bounce on your side. And the other side. Yes, go Panda. Right. Part four of the rule, Panda. Now, when you're holding the ball on your palm, you have to have it above the table. So you're not allowed to hide it down behind the table here. And you've got to be behind the end line of the table as well. So you're not allowed to come over the top of the table here and serve it, uh -uh, no good. So it's gotta be behind and above this end line of the table. All right, now the next thing is that you're not allowed to hide, and this is a really big one in the rules, you're not allowed to hide it with your big panda body, all right? So from the time that you, the ball's there, you're not allowed to have any part of your body between the ball and the net area. All right? So, got to keep it there. So show me, show me how you're gonna set up, Panda. Good work. Throw up, hand out of the way, serve it. Good work, Panda. So this rule was brought in particularly for the pendulum serve. So what people were doing was they were throwing the ball up and then they were hiding the contact behind their arm or behind their body so that the other person couldn't see what they were doing with the contact on the serve. So they were throwing it up, hiding the contact, spinning out of the way, and then the poor server doesn't get to see anything. They didn't see how they contact it, where they contact it, or anything. So that's why that rule was brought in. Okay. Point five of the service rule. Now, what point five really emphasizes is that you've got to get everything out of the way as soon as you throw that ball up. So, as soon as that ball comes out of your hand, then you've got to get your arm out of the way, your body out of the way, so that the person at the other end can see exactly what's happening. Got it? Point six, so here, is what we really want to talk about. Point six says that 
the umpire has to be satisfied that you're serving correctly. So you, it's your responsibility to make sure that you're doing everything right so that the umpire is completely satisfied with your serve. So guys, the best thing is to make your serve as open as possible, as legal as possible when you're practicing because then you're gonna have no problems at all when it comes to match day. All right, so part seven of the rule, okay, says that the umpire can relax the requirements of the rules if he's satisfied that you can't do something because of a physical disability. So Panda, you're lucky, you can do this correctly, so you've got to start practicing. And that's why it's really important that you make sure that right from the start, you get your service action correct because if it comes to a big match, like an Olympic final, and suddenly you've got to change your action, you're gonna be in all sorts of trouble. Get it right, right from the start. Don't try and push the boundaries too far, and you'll never have a problem with your serve. <laughs>